What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Sakela. So if you want to see how it is that I made my intro that you just saw, keep on watching. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into the little text section and you want to add a generator, a custom generator. You want to drag that into the timeline and then you want to change the generator from black to white because or whatever color you want it to be, you know you make you choose and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the music which i've already imported all my like all of my added and stuff so this is the spongebob trap music you know what i'm saying like you know you know the deal you know what it is so we're going to add that in there all right and then you want to just press w and it'll add it to the timeline and we're going to drag it down underneath and um, I'm just going to join these clips back together because they got split. So basically I'm going to cut the access off because we just want to work with what we need to work with. And we're going to press command plus to scrub it out and make it bigger. I bet. So this is what we have. Alright, cool. So now we're going to add the actual... Uh, graphic for the intro and this is my banner my channel banner um if you want to see a video on hiding my banner uh, let me know i just use keynote which is like a uh, powerpoint but for mac and um, i'm just going to scrub that out as well drag it out to the length of the music and then what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to add markers so that when i go to edit and add my effects it's easier so you just want to press m for everywhere you want to mark it and i want it on every beat basically so yeah Alright, cool. So now, uh, did I skip ahead? What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate, uh, which I apparently have already done. We're going to duplicate the um, graphic. So you just want to push Command-C and Command-V to copy and paste it. And now we're going to add a um, mask. Oh, excuse me. So you want to go into Effects and you want to go down to Mask and you want to do Draw Mask and drag that onto your second clip, the one above the original. And you're just going to add your control points around the image you want to cut out, essentially. Um, you can be as messy or as neat with this as you want. It's all dependent upon how it is that you want it to look. Um, so, And you can also move the control points if they don't hit exactly where you want them to be. So, bunks. Now we got the control point, and then we can just move it around for whatever reason. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working at first, but I just started pushing stuff, and then it started working. So, um, if you come across this issue, I can't tell you how to fix it. Uh, I just kept pushing, and it worked. So, um, yeah. Now we got our cutout, essentially. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this cutout two more times. Or three more times. Is it two or three? One? I think it's just twice. Two. Two more times. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to um, look at each of them. I want to separate them so I know which one is which. So that's the first one. That right there is the second one. And then we got the third one. One, two, and three. So what we're going to do, let's zoom in so we can see what we're really doing. Um because we want to stack them essentially right so we're going to click on the first one in the timeline and then we're going to drag it just ahead of the uh the original one so it can kind of look like you got what i'm saying like and then we're going to click on the second one do the same thing and we're going to drag it just ahead of the first and then yada 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 vice versa same thing for the third one right right so now this is the fun part we're gonna start editing and you know making it look all pretty in that you get me so basically what we want to do right now is we have these markers set up so we're going to drag the first cutout to the first marker point the second cutout to the second marker point the third cutout to the third marker point right cool so after that lord after that we're gonna um I'm not paying attention, sorry. What are we doing? Oh, I didn't on the other side. So we're going to drag the third one to the first, the second one to the second, and then the first one to the 
So it makes a, a a nice little effect there, which you didn't get to hear. So I'm just gonna turn the volume up on that bit right there because you need to hear it. Um, <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into effects, click on the first one, and we're gonna go to stylize, and we're gonna go to bad TV. I'm gonna add that effect. It gives you like that glitchy effect that I'm really been loving. Uh, and I want to incorporate a lot of my channel, so you get used to it. Uh, so I'm going to turn it down some, um, because we don't want it to be too harsh, right? So just turn it down a little bit, to your liking, you know, whatever you like, you know, I no discrimination in that vector. But so, uh, this is what it will look like. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a, we're going to key it, add a key, we're going to key it, keyframes, um, which is this little, like, where my mouse is right now, that little thing right there. So basically, you want to push it, and then you want to play the video a little bit forward until right before the end of the clip and then you want to drag the amount and add a little bit more so that way when you look at it again it'll have like a, a movement effect we're gonna um, cut all these other ones where the effect is at and we're gonna add the bear TV to each of those as well so that when that one gets the bear TV they all get the bear TV but we're gonna turn it down on all of them because it looks really stupid because they all moving too much so you want to turn them all down to whatever, you know, I don't know, whatever kind of when you want to turn it. I put them all around 5, 5.5, 5.7, like just around 5 so that they're not too, um, not too crazy. You know, the one that's supposed to stand out is the one in the front. So you want the ones in the back to kind of be like, you know, stand the back, the Beyonce and then the, the Kelly and the, the Michelle. You feel me? Like, you just got to understand. No. Cool, so that's the first bit done. Yes, so now we're gonna move on to adding in this here uh, little paper thing. I just got this off of Google. I just searched tone paper, J uh, not JPG, uh, PNG to get a, a transparent background. And you want to just add that in above the next part of the clip right there because we're gonna get that. Uh, blank so I can put the welcome on it so we just you know scaling it down so it could fit where it need to fit you want to make it as perfect as possible because we're going to add another mask on here so we can cut out the top bit and just leave the part that say the most lit place on the internet um so drag it so that it's perfect you know what I'm saying drag it so that it you know fits on there perfectly um well as perfect as you can possibly get it and now what we're going to do again is we're going to go into um, masks and then we're going to do a shape mask this time. Drag that on there. So you want to click off of the transform tool so that you can get access to the actual uh, effect. And then you want to just move it around until you cover up everything that needs to be covered up, basically. So we're just going to move it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like putting no, uh, music underneath this, so I'm going to just talk so I don't have to have any blank spaces in this video. You feel me? So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I'll probably still have music anyway. Anyway, so we have that. That's done. Cool. Bum. We good? Great. All right. Now, so what we're going to do now is, what we're going to do now? I'm not too sure. Oh, what we're going to do now is add the text. We're going to add the text. So, but look real quick. So basically, we wanted to black out or white out that other stuff. So we're going to add a touch. Oops, 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 I can't talk. So we're going to go back to the little text name. We're going to go to the titles one, add a custom title. We're going to drag that in there. We're going to change the, uh, we're going we're gonna, to uh, drag it to that marker. That marker, the next beat. Because I like my stuff to be on beats. You feel me if you haven't noticed. So basically now what we're going to do is we're going to add the text and we're going to put welcome to and we're going to change the font to um, Queentown or something like that there. I'm not really too sure what it's called, but um, I will link it down below. I got it off of defunct.com. I just downloaded it onto my computer and then we're going to change the color of it to this, the same color that my nails is. So basically what I did was I just used the little dropper tool. You see it right there. And I had another video that I just took, uh, I took the color of my nails and I added it to the little Thing so I can have it forever. So anyway, so we're gonna go glow and we're gonna make that that lime green color that you see next to that one. And you know you just want to play with it, increase the uh, radius and the blur so it can kind of look more like a glow. You get me? 
and then lastly we're gonna add uh the drop shadow so it can have like kind of like an outline but not really so it can like pop you know pop stand out a little bit more so you can really read it read it so we're gonna uh increase or decrease the distance cool and now we're gonna you know um i'm talking too much so many ums now we're just gonna resize it center it make it look good you know and it look pretty you know aesthetically pleasing in that there so now we got welcome to the most lit place on the internet swag cool so see what it look like okay. so that look good right cool so now what we're gonna do is add in the social media plug so i did this myself in this app because i don't have uh, money for these freaking plugins they'd be expensive as hell so what i did was um what did i do so i just made a green screen kind of so just did a like what we did at the beginning did a uh generator made it green put the fronts on it um and made the like glitchy effect so we put bear tv on each and every one of the text if you see right here so you want to add bad tv to each of them you want to mess with like the positioning and the opacity and like the thickness how wide or thin it is you know what i'm saying and just play with it change the colors up so it could be a little different but you know um it didn't take very long so if you don't have access to you know the uh plugins that cost like 60 dollars, you can make your own with like you know improvise and then you can save it and you just have it forever so um yeah so anyway so we're just going to import that into our video. You just want to drag it in right there. Drag it down. And there we go. And you just want to put it, place it where you know it needs to be. But first we want to uh, get rid of the green screen. So you want to go to key in and you want to drag on the Kia effect. And that will just get rid of the green screen and leave you with just the text. Cool. Cool. So you just want to drag it where you want it. You know what I'm saying? Drag it down to, you know, where you want it to be and where exactly on what beat you want it to sit on and da 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 da, da. You know what I'm saying? You, you make it your own. You get me? So I'm going to drag it down and resize it and make it look like how I want it to look. And all that jizzy jazz. Um, you know, I would be a bit more perfect with all of this when I was doing this last That was rude. I was obviously more perfect with it. But anyway, so, yeah. So we're just gonna drag it to where we need it to be, and yeah, cut out. I cut out some excess stuff because I felt like it was taking too long for the actual social media to pop up. You know what I'm saying? Like make it, make it your own, bro. Make it your own. You know what I'm saying? Like make it your own. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even. I'm just, you know, we're doing the same thing. Just making it, you know, putting it where it wanna go and doing it what it do and. So yeah, that's what we got so far. So what I want is for the socials to still, for the follow me to still be on when the socials pop up. So I'm just going to drag it underneath just a little bit. It kind of is like still glitchy, right? Cool. So now what we're doing is we're just going to cut off that extra stuff because we need to add in the subscribe with a little mouse tink. So we're gonna go back to text, custom text, drag that in, and we're gonna uh, cut it. Cut it down, because we don't need all this access stuff. We just wanna get rid of all the access stuff so we don't get confused about how much like space we got left. And I didn't realize that this was like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down to the end of the the audio, the you know, the SpongeBob music. So you just wanna, uh, you can either Yep, we're just gonna cut it out. Anyway, command B is to uh, to cut. If I didn't tell you that, sorry. Um, so yeah, so now we're gonna cut this um in half. So we have one for subscribe and one for period. Cool. <laughs> so we're just gonna add in subscribe, and I also got this font that I use for this this little VCR type font off of thefont.com. I'll link that down below as well. So you want to just change your font to that. We want to change it to black. We want to resize it. You know, you know, you know, make it obviously what you want it to look like. Like, I don't really know what else to say. Like, just do whatever you want to do, whatever colors you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do it exactly like me. But I just want to show y'all how I did it because 
I'm really proud of it, honestly. I'm really, really proud of what I did. So anyway, sorry. We're going to add some bear TV to this as well. So it can give us the little glitch. Because you, if you cannot tell, I'm obsessed with this glitch. This glitch effect and this VCR. I'm, I'm, I'm a nineties baby. I didn't really get to experience it very, very well. I was only uh, born in ninety-five, so like I just, I'm just obsessed with the, with the aesthetic. So that's what this channel was turned into a nineties aesthetic. If you love it, you love it. If you don't, you don't. I'm sorry. So <laughs> anyway, what we're gonna do now is add this little mouse, this little cursor, this little Mac cursor. Which I downloaded off of Google. I just typed in a Mac cursor PNG and this is what popped up. And we're gonna cut it down to where the subscribe is, delete all the extra, we're gonna scale it down to where it needs to be scaled down to so that it ain't taking up the whole screen obviously. So yeah, I don't know why it's taking me so long to do this. I'm very upset because I already have filmed this and had done the uh voiceover, but I didn't save or like the the, the audio that I did on my phone. It just, it just didn't, anyway, so, you just want to put it how you want to put it, like I said, I would be more uh, precise with it if I was doing this for real, for real, like I did last night, but this is just for uh, visual purposes, so you just want to have the subscribe, subscribe, where you want to have it, and then, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, we're going to key it to add, like, movement. That's what keying means to, to keyframe it or whatever the hell they call it, keyframes. So you want to go in a transform. You see where my mouse is right now? Click on that little trend that oop, words. Click on that little tri uh, diamond looking thing and you want to pull it out of the frame. Right? Make sure that your your little timeline thingy is at the beginning of the of the clip. And then you want to play it forward a little bit right before it ends and you want to pull it up. So wherever you want it to stop, see how it's that red line that's telling you that it's going to go in that direction when you press play. And then you want to do it one more time, and I just brought it over a little bit so it have a little bit more movement. And then this is what we got. Right? It was really fast. Sorry. But we're going to add the mouse click in here, which I also downloaded off of the internet a long time ago, so I don't even know. But if you just look in YouTube for mouse click, you'll find it. Right, cool so we're gonna drag it in and put it underneath you know what i'm saying and put it where like you'll see what i mean by where to put it i can't really explain it but you just want it to click click as soon as it gets to the subscribe you feel me like that bang cool so now we're gonna add the period the period period we're gonna drag it out a little bit more because we ran out of enough it wasn't enough space for the period and it needed to be there you know, to make a to make a an impression you know what i'm saying so drag everything out just like i think it's like two frames or maybe four frames two or four frames um yeah i need to order some dinner 640 jesus okay so we're gonna add the period same font and all that good stuff so we just gonna capitalize it so you know that you know that you know that we dead ass, period, period. I love saying that, you know, <laughs> period. <laughs> so anyway, the VCR text, again, and we're gonna change it to black, again. And then what we're also gonna do um, is, so it's a little bit bolder, a little bit bolder, we're gonna add uh, an outline to it. Once I do all of this nonsense and make it big. Like I said, you want it to stand out. So we're gonna add outline. And we're going to put the outline in black, obviously. Um, and then we're going to um, increase the width. So it just looks like it's now in a bold front. You feel me? Listen, when you can't do what you got to do, you got to make do. You feel me? So, <laughs> what? So, um, and we're just going to position it wherever we want to position it. And then next thing that we're going to do. What are we going to do? I'm just, I'm just making sure I ain't going to play nothing. Oh, we're going to cut out the music because we want the word. We're going to insert uh, the city girl saying the word period. I got this over YouTube. I just got a video converter thing and just downloaded that and got the period. The period. Uh, you know, them saying it. And we're going to detach the audio. Right click and then click detach audio. And then you can get rid of the visual and just keep the audio. So if you ever want to. You know do that there that's how you do that there <laughs> i 
and then we're going to add this little boom. I don't know why I did like that. This little boom effect I got off of YouTube as well. And we're going to drag that underneath the period to like emphasize the periodness of the word um, that is coming up on the screen. You feel me? Like, <laughs> cool. You see me. So, I didn't realize, but it wasn't in the right spot. So we're just gonna cut that extra, we're gonna cut that extra off, um, that don't say nothing. And we're gonna drag that back to where the word come up. And we're gonna... Cool. So, we got the period. 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 Cool. And we're gonna drag that in because we don't need that extra stuff. And last but not least, we're gonna go back to this glitch FX. Now, I'm gonna make my... I have a playlist that I put all my, like, my editing stuff in. Like, when I go on YouTube and I find stuff that I like, I have a playlist. So, I'll, all the stuff I downloaded off of YouTube and I just put it in this folder. So, this is one of the... This is one of the glitch things. So, yeah. But here's the finished product. Let's watch it. Let's admire it. Let's enjoy it. Okay? Did I? Okay. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. It's beautiful. Cool. So that's all that she wrote. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, like how to create things, um, let me know. And I will be sure to do that. Honestly, like, I really enjoy this stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, if you uh, have not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel because you know you want to be lit with me. Turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Follow me on my social media and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.